This is a tutorial on how to use the um, Inmarsat satellite receiver for data on your um, via Wi-Fi on your cell phone. The first thing that everybody has to do, um, whoever is going to hook up to the satellite, is to download a couple programs. Uh, what you want to do is you want to prevent your phone from downloading your Facebook status, your Gmail, your Instagram, whatever while you're on satellite data because when that happens everybody's connection slows down and you're getting charged horrific amounts for the data so it comes out to about ten dollars to capture each portal if you're downloading a picture on your gmail um, that could be a thirty dollar charge so you really want to avoid that so there's a couple things to do that we found that work really well one is on the Android, if you have a um, data sync, you want to disable the sync. And that prevents a lot of background um, applications from loading. The other thing you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to load actually no root firewall. So let's do that. So it would be no root firewall. You download that, and what that does is it blocks all the other programs from uh, downloading data as well. So I've downloaded it, we'll open it. It's kind of a pain uh, because it takes a lot of pre-configuration. So what you want to do is this lists all the applications that pull data. And it's a little bit painful, but they start out like this. So um, this is the way it would come. All of these would be unchecked. So you want to check, for example, I don't want Channel 7 News sending me stuff, so I have to actually hit it twice. Okay, and you have to do all that all the way down. Um, and the only ones you want are Inmarsat Control App, which I'll talk about later. That has to connect to the internet. Um, the other one is Google Account Manager. That has to be connected the other application is Ingress itself. Um, I uh, What I would do is I would start the no root firewall when you have your cell service and make sure that everything Ingress needs to run properly is checked off. I understand they did another um, server, so the addresses might change a little bit, but when you're playing it, there'll be something I'll say pending access, and it'll say Ingress needs this and this and this, and then you can check it as okay. So that prepares the phone for the users. Um, for each time you take, want to use a satellite, you need a, a one person to control the satellite. And that one person has to download um, the Inmarsat um, satellite control program. So search Inmarsat. And it, right here, there's an Inmarsat control app. So that's when you want to download. And this is what it looks like, and I'll go over that once we set up the actual satellite control. So this is the satellite unit itself, and it flips up like this. Um, it's real easy to use. So basically you have two buttons here. This is a mode button, which you don't have to worry about at all. This is the power button. So what we want to do, before we get started. You'll notice I stuck two Velcro tabs here. I made a little stand for it. And these two tabs just go like this. What it does is it just keeps it out of muck or keeps it level so you have rough terrain. The other thing you want to know is since it flips up, you want it's going to face south towards the equator. So it's nice to helpful if you kind of orient it where you think it's going to go. So the first thing you do is you see this power switch you press oops, you press and hold that for five seconds and you'll see that these LED indicator lights come on and right now what it's doing is it's simply um, loading the software kinda like Windows loading all the stuff on the screen before it boots up and so it's gonna do that for a little while uh, while everything's loading and you wanna stay several feet away from it. Don't let anybody stand in the front here because they will block the antenna. 
What it's doing now is it's going into GPS mode. So it's trying to figure out where it is um, relative to the satellites. So once it's in GPS mode, um, it'll start flashing when, it, when it's figured out where it's located. So the first time always takes a little longer, but subsequently it, it goes a little bit faster. So we'll just keep the film going so it's real time. The other thing is if it's in bright sunlight, sometimes you have to hold your hand over to see. It's fine, just don't block this area or the area in front or above it, because um, you will block the GPS or the satellite signal. Now it's going to aiming mode, and you'll see there's two arrows. This arrow is for up and down, so I'm going to tilt this up until they both light up. It's going to be no more. It's kind of touchy, so there you can see both those arrows are lit, and you can cover your hand. Now it's turning. It keeps me turning this way. And then you have both uh, um, lit up. So when it's like this, then you are uh, ready to get satellite data. Okay, so at this point we're ready to control the satellite. So what we want to do is you want to go into your settings and make sure the sync is off, which it is. Okay, so let's turn it off. Now we want to go to our no root firewall and we want to start it. Okay, so now it's starting. I think another version it asks you, do you trust it um, before you start? And you have to say yes. So what we want to do now is you want to turn on your Wi-Fi because this works by Wi-Fi. So you can have several people hook up to it at once. Okay, so let's go to the Wi-Fi. And you'll see there's TSAT. Um, that actually stands for Turtle Sat. So we'll go to TSAT and it's going to ask for a password. The password is Turtle Sat. Oops. T U R T L E S A T. Connect. And so now it's connected. So the next step is we go into our Inmarsat control app. You hit the control app and you'll see here it says there's a signal and it's 43 dB. You have to have at least 42 dB to connect. So let's connect to the network and this is when your billing starts. So all the other users connect to tur TSAT um, password TurtleSAT and then what happens is this is now trying to find the satellite. So you do not want to stand in front of or too close to the um, satellite transmitter. So now it gives me that, connect data. So I connect data. So now I am on satellite data. So everybody who's logged in should be on satellite data. And we'll see how this works. Doing a secure login. Okay, so that's basically um, how we do it uh, with the satellite. Let's see, and that should be about it. Let's see if anybody's attacking me. Oh, oh yeah, oh well, I have to get it later. So now, once everybody's captured their portholes or done whatever they needed to do, um, you look and you see the power switch you press it for five seconds, two, three, four, five, till it blinks, and you'll see that the lights go into a shutdown mode. And then once that's done, um, you're finished. That's all it takes.